Do you ever wish you could sketch anything with ease? I wanted to get familiar with the shapes and poses of these cows before painting them. Even if you've never sketched before, here are a few tips to help you tackle any subject with just a few tools. Loose sketching, especially on a small scale, is an excellent way to practice without the stress of striking perfection the first time. It also helps to organize thoughts on paper. Start by observing the subject and looking for simple shapes such as ovals, triangles, squares, and rectangles to construct the figure. Then lightly sketch whatever you see. Mechanical pencils, I find, are convenient and ideal for quick sketches. Holding the pencil far from the tip will not only keep your strokes light, but it will also allow you to get a better view of the whole picture. This way you can erase with ease and adjust as you go. Add details once the figure comes into focus. From this angle, I can see part of the back over the ears, so I'll include that. Rather than assuming how a cow's legs should look, simply observe and objectively sketch what you see. Look at the way the legs taper in at the knees and flare out like bootcut pants. Sketching overlapping figures is a good exercise in proportion. Consider how close or far the figures are in relation to one another and their surroundings. This will help you gauge how big or small the figure should be. This side-facing cow, for instance, is in front but still very close to the other cow, so the head will be roughly the same size. Once again, think objectively first. Notice how the contours of the body curve in and out because of the pose. The cow's body tapers towards the rear because it is farther away. My goal is always to bring the drawing to life by imitating the way our eyes naturally focus on one area and blur the rest. How much detail you want to include is up to you. If minute details don't interest you, you can use dark, medium, and light tonal values to sculpt. The first time I drew a cow, I used a guide. Sure, it worked for that pose, but what if I wanted to sketch cows from life? They may not be standing in the same way I practiced it, so how can I quickly sketch any pose and even creatures on the move? I would liken sketching on the fly to driving. 
You can't just get in the car and start driving well if you've never driven before. First, you have to get familiar with the mechanics of operating the car, learn about road signs, and stay aware of your surroundings. Each one processes thoughts differently. So when you practice sketching, get familiar with the tools and the effects you can create with them. This way, when you're sketching from life, the mechanics of drawing will be second nature and you can focus on capturing even a fleeting moment from your unique point of view. Practice sketching different poses and new subjects loosely. The bigger the drawing, the farther back you'll have to step to visualize the whole picture on paper. If you don't know where to begin, choose a feature that stands out and start from there. I saw this nose as a base, so I started there. Sometimes, there's no simple answer to a problem. It's in the process of seeking out solutions that you find answers in pieces. The more you practice without giving up, the more you learn. You can then put those pieces of the puzzle together. It's that aha moment. This will be a whole steam. You know the black and white spotted ones you find on a dairy farm? Sketching these cows is bringing back vivid memories of a long time ago. While driving past cows in Holland, my four-year-old brother curiously asked, Do brown cows give chocolate milk? We all burst out laughing. But really, do they? A childlike curiosity and imagination will make learning and exploring fun. If you like texture, try drawing on watercolor paper and be sure to add tonal value for drama. That's a really easy way to create textural effects in pencil. Let's draw a couple more poses. Learning something new requires a lot of patience. Sometimes it may take multiple attempts to get it right, but in the process, you realize what works and what doesn't. This one definitely needs a base shape. So I'll start with a rectangle to contain the head, a square to mark the nose, and a conical flower bouquet for the face. The ear will go here, the slight Elvis curl will go on top, the eyes will be between the two ears, and then I'll be able to contour the face to define the features. At this stage, I continue to adjust the features until the sketch resembles a cow.
Harsh lines can be softened with the use of tonal value. This way the sketch will look less like an illustration and more realistic. While sketching, you'll notice details you may not have noticed before, like the size of ears or the length of eyelashes. Who knew cows had such long eyelashes? Let's take it up a notch for this one. I'm going to start with a three-dimensional box that will be the body of the cow. It will taper towards the head because that part is farther away. Using what I learned from the previous sketches, I'm going to form the head with several shapes. Once the basic shapes are in place, it's easier to contour the cow and make adjustments as needed. Remember to consider the undulating body of the cow as you place the spots. They will curve with the body and the use of tonal value will help you make it more evident. To quickly cover the surface of the paper, I like to smudge the drawing. Now I can build layers of tonal value for more realism. When it comes to highlighting, a stick eraser works nicely to reveal the brightness of the paper. Loose sketching reduces the stress of seeking perfection. It's less about getting it right the first time and more about layering. To recap, Think objectively in terms of shapes to construct the figure, followed by contours to define, 
and then tonal values to sculpt. This combination will help you tackle any subject from any angle with ease and bring your sketches to life. Well, I hope you enjoyed this demo and found it helpful. Remember that practice is the key to improving, so don't give up. Until next time, have fun sketching!